Just Jazz from Chicago. This next thing was something I wrote when Rail, Rail Wilson's the bass player, and of course, Barrett Deems. <laughs> Tom DeMichael is playing the drums, of course. Uh, we did this show called Thurber's Carnival, and uh, didn't exactly like the music, so I wrote something I liked better. Uh, at least I liked it. So I like to play it for you, if you don't mind. It's uh, called Carnival Time. <laughs> got no blues tonight because there's a friend of mine in the house and he's a gas. It's real beautiful to see him. He's what you call an honest performer. You know, he gives forth all that he has when he plays. And so with no further introduction, an old Chicago and yet young at heart, fine trumpet player, Wild Bill Davidson. We're playing a tune that's in keeping with Bill, keeping out of mischief. That's now. <laughs> Thank you. 
This was the, uh, probably one of the greatest jazz towns in the whole world, Chicago. There wasn't any doubt about it. Everybody important was here. Yeah, you, you could um, you know, walk down the street. Uh, haven't you had this experience? You can walk down the street in the south side and hear more music accidentally than you yeah. hear today on purpose. Oh, sure. Absolutely, no doubt about it. I once got to, uh, a band together. Uh, somebody said they wanted a band at Tin Pan Alley which was a place that you used to have to slide down to get into, like a little slide going down. And uh, somebody said, they need a band at Tin Pan Alley. Seven minutes later, I had two bands ready to rehearse. <laughs> <laughs> there was some talk that you left Milwaukee sort of hur hurriedly, is that true? Or did you just, uh, let just talk? Well, they found out that I stole their clock out of the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> now, one of the greatest stories about Wild Bill Davidson, if I may tell it, I think I may because he's, he'll bear with me, was the time you played, um, uh, I think it was Philadelphia, when um, uh, some hall, I forgot, anyway, after the, it, you was with the Condon Band, and when they left town, there was a hue and cry because there was a certain letter that Sibelius, the, uh, the s symphony uh, writer, I guess you'd call him, yeah. uh, wrote, thanking the Philadelphia Orchestra for how great they played their music. The way I heard the story was that the next day after you got to New York, you went up to see Pee Wee Russell, opened this clarinet case, and there was the letter. <laughs> oh, but you, oh, <laughs> that was the, uh, the, our Constitution. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I, did, I took it back. I know you did. I know it. It was yeah. a beautiful story. I love to steal, but I take it all back, you know. <laughs> what else do you want? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Bill doesn't steal any music. When he plays, <laughs> he plays from in here. And uh, I think we better get back to playing because there's so much so. more to it. And uh, this next tune, you can play any day in the week, but it is titled Sunday. Mm.
Bravo, Davidson. Okay. Oh.